We are said to be gifted with God's righteousness, and we'll spend a future lesson on this as well, on the subject of imputed righteousness. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, He made him, that is God made Christ, who knew no sin, to be sin on our behalf. That is, our sin was taken from us and was imputed to Christ. It was credited to his account. This did not make him a sinner in conduct because he's not a sinner. He's perfect. He's sinless. But our sin was placed upon him and he was judged in our place. But the exchange is that his righteousness is then gifted to us. It is then gifted to us as a gift. And so we receive the very righteousness of God given to us as a gift. And it's his righteousness. It's not my righteousness. It's his righteousness. But it is given to me. Now, this does not make me righteous in conduct. That has to do with my sanctification, my advance to spiritual maturity, my pursuit of righteousness, and my walk with the Lord, which is what God calls of us as believers to do. He calls us to a life of righteousness, but it starts with our being properly related to God because of the gift of righteousness. So again, he made him who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Philippians 3, 9, Paul says that I may be found in him. Again, notice that prepositional phrase, that identification truth, that I may be found in him. Notice he says, not having a righteousness of my own derived from the law, but that, that is that righteousness, which is through faith in Christ. The righteousness which comes from God, notice the source, the righteousness which comes from God on the basis of faith, not on the basis of works, but on the basis of faith in Christ. And this is why Paul calls it, in Romans 5, 17, he calls it the gift of righteousness, the gift of righteousness that is uh, given to us. It is credited to our account at the moment of faith in Christ. Romans 4, 3 through 5, Paul says, for what does the scripture say? that Abraham believed God, and notice, and it was credited to him as righteousness. And the word credited there translates the Greek verb logizomai. Again, we'll unpack this in a future lesson, but it's an accounting term, and it means to uh, credit to someone's account, to deposit uh, to their account, and it was credited to him, it was deposited to him as righteousness. Now, Paul says, now to the one who works, his wage is not credited as a favor, but as what is due. Now, what Paul is doing is he's taking a, a normal way that we think about the world, that the one who works a 40-hour work week, we might say, to the one who works, his wage, that is his paycheck, is not credited or regarded as a favor. In other words, it's not regarded as grace from the Greek noun katas. It's not grace. Okay, but as what is due. When I work for my employer, I put my employer into debt, and every two weeks my employer uh, relieves uh, itself of that debt by taking money and depositing it from their account to my account. But when they put money into my account, they're not being kind. That's not a gift, that's not grace. You see, that is what is owed to me. I worked for it, and I earned it. Now, that's fine in life. That is a valid system, and God has created work, and we live in this world, and such a system is a valid system. But you cannot take that system and apply it to salvation. It does not work. We do not work for salvation. Salvation is a gift that is a separate system. And we understand this because we take of our resources and we gift things to other. We give people money. We give people of our own resources. We purchase things for people. And a gift by its very nature means that it was paid in full by one person and given to another. And so... And that's, and that's how we understand salvation, that it is a gift to us, that we receive it by grace, through faith. It's not of ourselves. It's a gift from God. 
So Paul's point here is he says, now to the one who works, his wage is not credited as, as a favor, but as what is due. But notice to the one who does not work, to the one who does not work. So you don't work for salvation. You don't work for this righteousness. This is a gift. But to the one who does not work, but simply what? Believes. So you, we are saved by grace alone through faith alone, but faith does not save. Faith is the instrument by which we receive salvation, but faith does not save. Christ saves. Faith is merely the means by which we receive that salvation because we believe in Him. And so we do not trust in ourselves. We do not trust in works. We do not trust in anything. We turn from everything and we turn to Christ and Christ alone because man needs only Christ to be saved. Again, to the one who does not work, but believes in him who justifies who? The ungodly. His faith is credited, his faith is credited as righteousness.